fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. So that Bobby is a boy of nine. He can really hit that line. He's the star because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Yes, it's a fact. Cheerios does give you real go power. You see, Cheerios is made from oats. And every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. And Cheerios is so much fun to eat with its distinctive O shape and its wonderful toasted oat flavor. So tomorrow morning and every morning, start the day right with a Cheerios breakfast. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? Away! Shortly after 3 o'clock one afternoon in early spring, four killers drew their weary horses to a halt in the hills in southwestern Texas. A heavy-set scar-faced bank robber and murderer named Buck Banner dismounted and led his white horse to a nearby spring. We'll fill our canteens, boys, and water the horses. All right. Critters need rest, Buck. We've been traveling hard. Yeah, we'll rest them here for a couple of hours, Tex. We, we ought to keep going, Buck. We're ahead of the masked man and Indian who are after us. We can't be sure of that. Oh, shut up, will you, gloomy? Yeah, ever since we found out the Lone Ranger was trailing us, you've been worse company than usual. Yeah, with a redskin to cut time for him, he'll stay on the trail. We can't lose him. We've been wasting time trying to cover our tracks. Covering our tracks will slow them down. Yeah, maybe. I'd like to draw a bead on that masked law dog. You ought to set up an ambush for him, Buck. You'll have a better idea. Huh? Break out the grub, Jawbone. Yeah. We'll have a meal while I tell you what I've got in mind. I hope it's a good idea. It is. Yeah, a lot of fellas have tried to gun that masked man, Buck. We're not gunning for him, Gloomy. We won't get him any other way. We'll set the law after him. How? By framing him. How can you frame the low range? Easy. There's a lawman near here who's new on the job. You mean Marshal John Riot and Nero? Yeah. Chances are he's never heard of the Lone Ranger. I doubt that. At least twice he doesn't know the mask, man. What's that got to do with framing? We need cash, Fox. Yeah, yeah, I know that as well as you do. We'll get it and frame the Lone Ranger for the robbery. If things work out as I figure, we'll cross the border with cash and gold enough to last a long, long time. Where are you going to get that much money? When the eastbound stage passes Painted Rock on the 6 o'clock run tonight, we'll stop it. The eastbound to Denver, huh? Yeah. The strong box it carries ought to hold plenty. Hey, I heard businessmen in towns west of here send their paper money and gold to Denver to be banked. They do. Stage light insures the shipment. Yeah, you can afford to insure them. With shotgun Dave Morgan riding the stage's guard. He's double barrel poison to our hoot. A taste of lead will take care of shotgun. Uh, if you fellas to cover me, I'll pull the robbery dressed as the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? I'll cut a mask out of the old black vest in my saddlebag. 
I've got a white horse and Jawbone's riding the paint. Nobody'd mistake those critters for scouting silver. They couldn't be fooled in plain daylight, but it starts to get dark around six o'clock. Well, you figure there won't be light enough for the guard and driver to get a good look at you, huh? That's right, Tex. They'll see a masked gent on a white horse and a dark-skinned, black-haired fellow on a paint. We'll let them live to report what they see to Marshal Wright. Yeah. <laughs> then the Marshal will be looking for the Lone Ranger and Tonto. And we'll have cash enough to cross the border in style. Mm-hmm. Right? If we live to cross it, shotgun more than... While Jawbone and I stop the stage, you and Sachs open fire on the garden driver from cover, Gloomy. If you act fast, shotgun won't have a chance to get it. I savvy, Buck. All right, as soon as we eat, I'll cut out a mask and help Jawbone disguise himself to look like a red skin. Jawbone's skin was deeply tanned and his hair jet black. When they left for Painted Rocks later that afternoon, even Gloomy had to admit that the killer resembled an Indian. At 5.45 that evening, they reached the place on the stage trail known as Painted Rocks. Grotesque boulders large enough to conceal men and horses Started the sloping hills bordering the trail. Saxon Gloomy selected places of shelter halfway up the slope, while Buck Banner and Jawbone waited on the trail below. As he checked his weapons, Gloomy shook his bald head disapprovingly. Oh, uh, what's wrong, Gloomy? Well, that this whole dad ratted plan's loco, Sags. You don't have to stick with us if you don't want to go along with us. Oh, no, no. Every lawman this side of Illinois wants me for something. As long as I stay with you fellas, I've three guns on my side. Besides, the four of us have been together a long time. Yeah, and the law hasn't caught up with us yet. Uh, the law doesn't worry me half as much as a lone ranger. Buck's making a big mistake posing as a masked man. <laughs> With that mask over his face, he looks like the Lone Ranger. Yeah. Hey, listen. The eastbound. Yeah, that's a few minutes early. All right, get set the gun, shotgun, and the driver. From their place of concealment close to the trail, Buck and Jawbone waited tensely with drawn guns. <laughs> as the stage rounded a turn and came into view, the outlaws spurred their horses. Get it out! Get it out! Shotgun Dave Morgan and the driver had a brief glimpse of a masked man on a white horse and a dark-skinned, dark-haired man on a paint. As Morgan grabbed his shotgun, Saxon Gloomy fired. The garden driver fell from the stage to the ground. Keep him covered while I see if they're conscious. Maybe they're dead. Yeah, yeah driver's alive. Stopped a bullet in the shoulder and wrapped his head when he fell. Shotgun's head was grazed by a bullet. Yeah, we'll get the strong box and clear out of here before they come to. When Shotgun Dave and Whip Dugan, the stage driver, regained consciousness, the killers had left the scene of the holdup. Whip struggled to a sitting position. Take it easy, Whip. You all right, Dave? Yeah. At least we got a look at him, Dave. We'll be able to tell Marshal Riot what the coyotes look like. The moon was high overhead when Dave Morgan halted the stagecoach in front of Marshal John Riot's office in the town of Nero. The lawman sent for a doctor at once and listened in grim-faced silence to the account of the robbery. The masked man and Indian must have had a couple of pals planted on the hill above the trail. They opened fire on us before we had a chance to shoot. Did you see the men who fired? No, Marshal. The only ones we saw were the masked man and redskin. The masked man had a white horse. The engine was on a paint. Thirty-five thousand dollars in gold and paper money was in the strong box. They got every bit of it. They won't get far with it, Whip. You going after him now, Marshal? Yeah. Well, I'll ride with you. Oh, no, you're hurt, Dave. Just scratched. All right. And let's go. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had found the camp where Buck Banner and his killers rested that afternoon. They followed the trail from there. Tracks easier to read now, Kimotabi. Yes, they're heading for the stage trail. You think them robbed stage? We'll soon know whether they did or not. I won't do it. Get them up A short time later, the 
masked man and his Indian friend drew rein on the trail at Painted Rocks. By the light of a brilliant moon, they studied the tracks. They stopped the stage, all right, Toro. Uh, here, a place where stage turn round. Head back to town. And here are the tracks of four riders. Someone come this way, Jim Sunday. We better get out of sight. Hoy, sir. Come, come. come. We'll move to the shoulder of those boulders. minutes later, Marshal John Riot and Shotgun Dave Morgan drew rein and dismounted. The wounded guard showed the lawman the tracks on the ground, then headed for the boulders, concealing the masked man and Tonto. I'll show you where those coyotes waited in ambush for us, Marshal. Yeah, these boulders are big enough to hide a man and a horse. Uh, hey, watch this. At the sight of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, the lawman and Dave Morgan reached for guns. Don't finish that draw. I'll kill you. The masked man's hands dropped to his holster. <laughs> Silver bullet smashed the guns the guard and lawman drew. You dirty drag don't you rattler. I told you not to draw. You smashed my gun. Keep them covered, Tonto, while I take your other weapons. Ah, uh, me savvy. I'll take that hunting knife, Marshal. You won't get away with this, mister. You and your friends started the gunplay. I just want to make sure you don't try another fast move. Where's the rest of your gang? What? You heard me. What brought you back to the scene of the holdup? What do you mean, back to the scene? Don't try to act innocent, mister. I got a good look at you and your pal when you stopped the stage. You think we robbed the stage? I know you did. You make big mistakes. Buck Bannon and his men committed the robbery. I've heard of Buck Bannon. So why, but you won't get away with blaming him for a robbery you pulled. As far as I know, he's in Dakota territory. We followed him from there. Yeah, a likely story. Mass friend, not cook. Him lone ranger. No matter what he calls himself, he's a crook in my book, and so are you, Injun. You're wearing a United States Marshal's badge. I'm John Riot, United States Marshal and Nero. And this is Shotgun Dave Morgan, the guard you gunned in the robbery this evening. You're mistaken, Marshal. Todd and I aren't outlaws. Uh, save your breath. Yes, that's good advice. Tie their hands, Toto, while I keep them covered. Ah, uh, me savvy. We leave them here and go after Bannon and his men. A few minutes later, Shotgun Dave and Marshal Riot watched helplessly while the Lone Ranger and Toto mounted Scout and Silver. I hope we meet again, Marshal. You hope we meet again. Mister, I'm living for the day when I can put you behind bars for keeps. You're a hard man to convince. Adios. Come on, Toto. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Oh, Dan Reddit, I'd give 20 years of my life for a gun and a chance to use Take it easy, Marshal. Easy. With two crooks getting away, leaving me hogtied like this. The engine didn't tie these ropes tight. I think I can work them loose. Even if we get free, we've got no guns. I have a couple of spare six-shooters in my saddlebag. Well, in that case, things aren't as bad as I thought. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you doing is a question. And here's one the have that happy people have to say. Oh, we need to do an okay. Sure, take champion Bob Cousy, who can really make a basketball do tricks. Bob was born in New York, plays with the famous Boston Celtics. Leads them all in fast break play, and Koozie knows the champion way. Starts his day the Wheaties way. Take Neil Johnston, another great champ from the East. Say Neil has been eating Wheaties since he was three feet tall instead of six foot eight. Grew up a long ways on them, didn't he? Mighty appetizing eating, and there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Keep on eating your Wheaties, and you'll be doo 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 and okay. to continue. It took some time for Shotgun Dave to loosen the ropes around his wrist, but finally he freed his hands. As he rubbed his wrist, he said, The masked man took my knife, but I'll be able to undo the knots in the rope around my ankles, and I'll work on yours, Marshal. Yeah, a knife would be mighty handy right now. Don't worry, you'll be out of those ropes in no time, Marshal. Then we'll get my guns from the saddlebag and start after those two. Next time we meet, I'm going to take them by surprise. A 
short time later, the marshal and shotgun Dave were in the saddle. Unaware of the Lone Ranger's purpose in leaving a clear, easy-to-read trail, the guard grinned. These tracks will be a cinch to follow, Marshal. I'm surprised the masked man and Indian didn't try to cover the trail. If we hurry, we might be able to overtake him before morning. Yeah, I hope so. Get up there. Come on, get up. Late that night, Buck Banner and his men were riding through the Flathead Hills. Gloomy shifted his weight in the saddle and whined. Great sakes alive, Buck. How far are you going before making camp for the night? I know what I'm looking for, Gloomy. Well, I'm tired enough to sleep in the saddle. Yes, yeah, so am I. How much farther do you plan to travel tonight, Buck? There's a place ahead where we'll find a first-rate campsite job. Oh, yeah. We've passed half a dozen good ones in the last 20 minutes. The place I'm thinking of gives a clear view of the trail. We'll camp there and post a lookout. told you about this place. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Buck. Look, I'll be able to make sure no one takes us by surprise. That's the idea. Yeah, we'll break out our gear and bed down for the night. Right. Oh, yeah. After taking the saddles from their horses and spreading blankets on the ground, the four men relaxed for the first time in many weeks. Oh. Now, this is the first time I've drawn an easy breath since we found out the Lone Ranger was at you. One of us has got to stand watch. Yeah. I'm too doggone tired to keep my eyes open, Buggy. No, I'll stand watch. No one else will. Now you're half asleep already. Gloomy. Yeah. Yeah? How about watching for the first two hours and wake someone else? I'll be able to take over then. And you can turn in for the rest of the night, Gloomy. Oh, all right. I reckon I might as well get my turn over with. Look, keep your eyes on the trail below. Hey, well, don't worry. I know how to stand watch. Oh, Buck, Jawbone, and Sax were soon asleep in their blankets. To keep himself awake, Gloomy paced back and forth for some time. Then he sat down at the base of a huge tree. Resting his back against the trunk, he studied the moonlit trail below. Like a slow poison, the outlaw's deep exhaustion crept through his body, drugging his senses. He thought of the days and nights spent on the trail without sleep to keep ahead of the Lone Ranger and Toto. Oh, I hope those two are rotten behind bars. A thin smile twisted his lips oh. as his heavy eyelids closed. His bald head dropped to his chest. Gloomy was fast asleep a few minutes later when the Lone Ranger and Toto approached the well-chosen campsite. As he studied the tracks on the ground... The masked man murmured. They can't be far ahead of us, Toto. Isn't that right? Hello, look. In the moonlit clearing ahead, they saw the sleeping killers. The Lone Ranger drew rain. Oh, 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 oh. But as Silver and Scout halted in the shadow of giant trees, Gloomy suddenly wakened. Well, 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 what's that noise? Easy, silly big fella. Get to the cover of these trees, Toto. Uh, he's happy. There's something away can me. You're covered. <laughs> Who are you? Where are you? Show yourself. Make another sound and you'll stop a bullet. The Lone Ranger stepped from the shadows with a colt in each hand. Gloomy screamed in fear. The masked man! The Lone Ranger! As the fighting killer backed away from the masked man, Buck, Jawbone, and Sax wakened. Covered by two guns, Gloomy didn't dare fire his own weapon. Don't don't shoot! Don't shoot me, mister! No! In his panic-stricken retreat, Gloomy stumbled and fell. His gun fired, but the shot went wild. Get your hands up. You're covered. I'll kill you. No. A silver bullet struck Buck's arm before his gun cleared leather. Tonto fired from the shadows. Jawbone screamed and reeled back with a bullet in the shoulder. As Sack swung his gun to shoot Tonto, the masked man fired again. A silver bullet burned the outlaw's gun hand. No, no, I give up. Don't shoot me. I dropped my gun. Keep your hands up and get over there with the others. Yeah. Pull me, you chughead. You were just stand watch. I, I, I must have fallen asleep for a minute. Oh, 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 oh. At that moment, Marshal John Wyatt and Shotgun Dave Morgan drew rein in the moonlit clearing. Yeah. Buck Banner saw the glittering badge on the lawman's vest. A U.S. Marshal. Yeah, I don't want anything. Keep your hands where they are. What in tarnation is going on here? I told you Buck Banner and his men committed the stage robbery, Marshal. That's Buck Banner. And these fellas are the owl who travel with him. 
I've seen handbills on all of them. Chances are you'll find the stolen money in their saddlebags, as well as a black mask. And there's the white horse. Yeah, and there's a paint belonging to one of them. Those are the saddlebags, Dave. All right, Marshal. Tell me I'd like to kill you. Well, don't blame me. This is your fault, Buck. My fault? Well, it was your idea to frame the masked man injured for that robbery. You figured the marshal would be looking for them instead of us. I was looking for them when I came here. I hoped you'd follow our trail, Marshal. I found the cash and gold that Skunk stole from the Stormbox, Marshal. What's more, I found the black mask one of them wore when he stopped the stagecoach. I... Yes, I was wrong about the masked man and engine. I'll keep the crooks covered while you tie their hands, Dave. Right. I'll uh, take it easy, will you? I've hurt you. I've been wounded. We'll take care of your wounds after your hands are tied. Oh, give me a chance to talk, Marshal. I'll turn state evidence if it'll save my neck. You oh, no. yellow back squealer. No, I don't want to die. Well, Marshal, you've recovered the loot and captured Banner and his men. No, I, I didn't do a thing, mister, but follow your trail. But you have them now. If it's all right with you, Todd and I will be on our way. Mister, uh... I owe you a heap of thanks. Oh, forget it. By the way, here are the knives I took from you and the guard. Oh, thanks. And I'm sorry we made a mistake. Well, that's all right. Easy. Anything, fellow? All set, fellow? Be ready. Keep us up. I, uh, I'm downright sorry I doubted you when you told me who you are. The next time we meet, I won't have to identify myself. You're doggone right you won't. I'll never forget you. Adios. So long, and thanks. One, two, three. Come on, come on. That'll hold you critters for the trip to town. All four of these coyotes are wanted for hanging crimes, Dave. Oh, I knew this would happen. I felt it in my bones. I'd like to break every bone in your body. I tried to warn you, Buck, but you wouldn't listen to me. Oh, no. You figured you were smarter than the Lone Ranger. I'll Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.